look at the situation where we have two vertices here A and B of odd degree and we're going to prove that, that there not only in this case is there a path but we're going to look at a way to find that path so first of all the degree of B is 3 and the degree of A is also 3 so those are our two odd vertices we're going to extend the onion skin proof from the former video before this which was the circuits and change it a little bit um, to adapt to this situation. So instead of finding a circuit to begin with, we're going to draw a path, any path we want. Um, let's just draw up here. Go, let's go this way. Oops. So the first step here is that we know that we have a path. We just want to prove that it's, it's there. We want to show you where it is. So the first thing we do is draw a path not a circuit, right? A path going from A to B. A circuit would come back to A, and we don't want to do that. So here is our path. And the idea is what just happened? Well, we create this new orange graph, and in the orange graph, you notice how this, this orange piece is disconnected from this orange piece, but that's okay. We'll come back to that in a moment. But let's, let's look at what happens. Um, well, since we drew a path from A to B, that means we drew basically one edge going from A, or an odd amount going from A, more going from A than coming coming to it, and an odd amount going to B because we'll have one more coming to it than going away. So in other words, whenever a random path we, we draw, we, we take an odd number of edges from the start, in this case one, and we take an odd number of edges from the finish. So that means that, that these two vertices will now have an even degree. So one, one change that will always happen when we use the onion skin algorithm on, on this path, or any path, is that we change the start and end to an even degree. So let's become even. And every vertice along the way, what also happened? Well, because we had to go to and leave from each of these vertices in the middle, that means we took one, two, three, four edges away, or for every vertice, all right, we took an even amount of edges away. So if we look at this new, new, the new, the new path here at this edge, there are one, two edges left at this vertice. So we took an even amount away from edges that were, over, vertices that were already even. So all of these vertices will have an even degree. So if you take an even amount from an even number and an, and an odd amount from an odd number, you're left with even, always. Right? So for example, I mean, here we had a degree of 3 at the start and end, so we had 3 minus 1. So the degree of the start and end now became 2. Along the way, you have an even number like 4, taking away an even amount of edges, and we end up with an even number. And now we're left with a new graph in which every vertice has an even degree, and you can check that, right? The, the, the degree of A is now 2 the degree of B is now 2, and every edge along the way, every vertice along the way has an even degree. So, so what? We can use now our onion skid algorithm to solve this puzzle and show you where the, the path is. Let's do that. So right from A, notice we skipped out on all these edges. So now we'll try and include, include these, right? We'll draw a new path. And we don't want to, we don't want to, finish at B just yet, right? Because we we know we have to end there, but we can still draw an edge there. It's okay. Because the last step will be the purple line here. That's our path. So our green, right? We're going, going, going. And we return to A. That's okay. Don't don't think that by drawing these circuits you're you're disrupting the path. Remember the original path has already been drawn. We're just branching off of that. So we can color in those vertices we just took care of. That's our green path there. And notice we still haven't included this orange path. So if you can imagine the, the, the way we would travel along this graph to form a path, we would first start at A and travel on this green path. And then we'd come back to A and draw this purple path. And we'd have a path. But it's an Eulerian path we're looking for, so we want to include every edge. And we haven't included what? We haven't included these edges here. So as we start at A and go along this green path, we come to this vertice, we want to make sure we also include these edges. Right? Because we want to include every edge in the graph. So that so when we start this light green path, and we 
fix this. And then we want to actually include this dark green bolded path. So our, our, our journey so far would look something like this. Start at A, go along, include the dark green, come back, finish on the green loop, come back to A and finish this purple path, and that would take us to B, and that would form an Eulerian path. We still have to include this section, so we branch off from this vertice right here and include these edges as well. And now we form an Eulerian path from a situation which we started with all but two vertices being odd. Right? We, we started by drawing the path, and then by doing that one random path, you can draw that anywhere, you can test it, go from A to B, draw a path, you, the graph you remain with is, is one in which every vertice has an even degree. So then we can use the onion skin algorithm straight from there to solve the path in this graph. And let's just retrace that, that here to understand how this works. So we start at A, and we travel along these edges, but then we also make sure we include this green path right here. Then we include this up here. Come back to A. Right Now we're traveling along our very first path. Also include the brown edges there, and then finish off to B. So this does have a path starting at A from B. Alright, hope that helped.